All right, so here I'm going to explain the um, conditional or con function applied to raster data in ArcGIS Pro. And note if you work in other environments like QGIS or remote sensing software like Envy or Erdas Imagine, there are comparable functions there. Okay, so um, I'm going to first open up my toolbox here and navigate to that tool. So this is part of the Spatial Analyst extension, and it's in the conditional sub toolbox. And in there we have the con tool, which is for uh, conditional. Okay, so let's open that tool up. So basically what the con, con function allows you to do is to apply a test to a grid and do something if that test is true and do something else if that test is false. So what I'm going to do is this is an elevation model. Um, and I like to take all elevations that are above 800 meters and code them to 800. And then anything less than 800 meters, I just want to return back the original value. OK, so let's do that. So you feed it the, the condition raster. And then the condition. So we're going to do if the value is greater than 800. And then what to do if true, and that can either be return raster value or return a constant. So here we're going to have a return a constant, 800. And then for what to do a false, we're just going to have it return back the original grid. So the original cell value. OK, so let's run that and see what we end up with. Okay, cool. So there's our output. It's kind of hard to see what happened there. So I'm going to make a, a hill shade of this real quick just to visualize it. So I'm just grabbing this from the surface uh, toolbox there under Spatial Analyst. So we take it, we're going to take our result, and then we're going to run it. And we should get back a hill shade in a second here. Okay, cool. So as you can see here, what it basically did was anything above 800, it just flattened off to 800, and everything else maintained its value. So effectively, just kind of cut off the mountaintops there. Okay, so another way to do this in ARC is to make use of raster calculator as opposed to the standalone tool. Um, so let's look at that um, as a final example. So I'm going to go to Map Algebra here, and then Raster Calculator. And then I want to make this calculation. So it's going to be a con function. So if you're not sure what the function calls are, you can always look over here. So there's the con function. So the first argument is the condition. So we're going to say if the DEM is greater than 800, then do something. So we're going to have it return 800. And then if it's, if it's false, then we're going to have it return back the original value again. OK. So that should work. So let's hit run and then see what we get. And since we used the same logic, we should get the same result that we got for our um, for, from the from running the tool. And you can see that's basically what happened here, right? So anyway, conditional state conditional um, arguments are useful because you can basically do a test and then return different results depending on whether or not the test is um, is true or false.